What's up guys and welcome back. As you can see, we have a final table bubble in a $54 Hyper. Uh, it's a progressive Koi O as usual, one of my favorites. Um, been running pretty well, just I got some good spots. Unfortunately, it wasn't paid off by him when I had top hair. I thought I'd make like a, uh, I don't know how you call that, 3D chess move, but <laughs> He didn't fall for it. Um, maybe I can explain later. So I over jammed like with ace king. I had ace king under the gun. He defended big blind. Flop was king 10 3. And I over jammed like 3x pot. And it there was a flush draw. And with the king 10, I thought. Uh, and I had him covered by 2x. So I was the chip leader. I thought he might call there with a 10 or some draw. Um, because it looks very much like I'm playing a flush draw, mostly a draw, um, putting much pressure on him because he was a mid-stack. There were quite a few tiny stacks here. He had 15 big blinds, I had like 35. But either he didn't have anything or he didn't fell for it. But I thought it would be a good idea, but I'm not sure. Actually, I think good players still find the fold with the 10 and don't want to gamble in such a spot because he knows I probably still have like 35-40% with a flash draw minimum and sometimes he could be crushed and indeed he would have been pr quite likely. So yeah, um, that's the inter talk for that. So exactly one left um, until we at the final table. It's a 7 max final table. I'm not gonna jam this. This is plays very well against the big blind but not against these and um, I have there are some interesting spots where I would jam, uh, maybe a pair of, but not with 30 big blinds steep, I'm just kind of playing normal poker. We have a nice all in here, let's see if he can call. I've seen this guy a lot, oh yeah, um, he's a pretty capable player. Okay, that's a good spot for him. Well, not anymore, backdoor flush, probably not. <laughs> he's drawing that. Very unlucky actually against these two hands, like normal, but still unlucky. Okay, I think we made the final table. I will zoom in more because we only have one table left. And usually it directly starts in these hypers without any, without any delay. Change this real quick. Um, yeah, I think this looks good. Uh, my position isn't great. Big stack to my left, second big stack to my left. But, I mean, I have a good chance to collect these bounties if there's a good blind versus blind spot. Yeah, it's not fantastic. Let's see, there's only, it's a tiny, only 244 runners, so 800 on top. Plus, I would guess, um, 500, around 1k bounties depending on how many you collect. I didn't collect too many as you can see, kind of a low bounty here. Um, yeah, check 8, easy snap fold. Oh, I need to fit the screen a little bit better. He can jam pretty wide under the gun as the baby stack, but not super insanely wide. But I would guess like almost any suited ace, um, some suited Broadway, most suited Broadway actually. Almost any pair, maybe not deuces and threes, I don't know, probably deuces and threes still jam. Ah, uh, it's six, six left, right? So it like a double knockout. Let's see what he has, ace four, yeah, that's definitely bottom range to shove there. Hopefully he binks the five and hopefully he doesn't bink the four. Oh, fantastic. That's very nice, $90 extra for us, money jump. I mean, I would love to collect, collect his bounty too, but yeah, what can you do? He's eight. Well, this is gonna be interesting against, even against him. Is this, yeah, I definitely have to defend his opening so much here. He could reach him quite a bit and he will call any two, I guess. That is the problem we have to give up so often here unless we have a really great board. Even here, if if the suits were reversed with the back to flash try, I'd probably peel for this price, even though it's terrible in this ICM situation, but now I think I just have to lay it down. 
it's too hard to play given the pressure he can put us in well that's interesting uh if he opens here because he opens so much i might squeeze if he jams i might regem yeah yeah i think this is a regem it's kind of close but i think it plays fine against even some of his calling range okay quite ahead here let's hope ah let's hope this doesn't happen is what i wanted to say at least we have a tiny extra out turn <sighs> the color is good ah. that sucks yeah next money bump is already one of ten dollars plus the bounty so this was a really important spot plus the chips of course <laughs> So now we're kind of, yeah, well, I can jam a little bit wider now than before, because there really isn't, it's of course still ICM, but not too, too hardcore. Um, actually given my tiny bounty, uh, okay, if, if, I'm glad he falls because I would have thought about stealing with King 7 suited here. I think it's really a borderline. Probably I mostly want to have a jamming range. But it looks super strong and I'm blocking the king and kind of plays post follow up okay ish. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's having a great comeback. Probably jamming wide here, many ace x suited. Similar to his. What was it? His under the gun range, the first guy that busted. 7 4 into the muck. He can open so wide here. But 7 4, not worth defending. Even for two. <coughs> Excuse me. For this price, I want to have a better hand. At least suit at 7 4. Even 7 6 off suit. Would be very borderline. Probably for this price, I, I would call 7 6. But not simple. There's a lot of king x. This hits actually his range a lot. He's probably flatting king queen, maybe queen check suited. Um, king ten suited. Check ten suited maybe sometimes. Queen ten suited sometimes. That's very strange. He has some sets here actually, he has some... What's that? I mean the, the river's <laughs> also terrible for probably one of them. Well, if this is the 10, I don't know. If, like you can't... That's... I think it's a stupid bet. Because this is always a 10. Wow, this is a stupid call. Oh my god, bro. I think you just lay, I mean, of course, it's a set of nines. It's like, what the fuck? Horrible. <laughs> but given given the crazy ICM and, and that he only is supposed to jam any 10x here, I think he wouldn't over jam blindly or... Um, yeah, I'm falling now, that's good. He wouldn't fo blindly jam a... Oh, come on, please have something here. Oh, that's awesome. No, give him a, a three or something. Oh man, please hold. Seven. No, <laughs> terrible. Uh, but the nine spot, pocket nines there was really amazing. I think you, yeah. I thought his jam is terrible because you never get called there unless you also have the 10. Like, never. Two pairs, a snap fold, and even a set. Um, sure, it's for sure an underbluffed spot, but the bluff there is just so crazy. So, yeah, very interesting. I really wonder what the solver says there. If what's your bluff, bluffing range? Do you even have a bluffing range on such a run out given his calling range here? The the guy who had nines. Okay, good luck us. Um, has such a crazy, 
crazy 10 uh, amount of 10s in his calling range there. Good luck. I mean, what can I do here? He's probably calling, hopefully just a weaker ace. That would be so awesome. Ah, that sucks. He has two life cards, but still, let's, let's just double. Why is there always this horror flop? Oh my god. Not the nicest run, but I mean, we leveled up a little bit. Ah, lucky boy. Yeah, lucky. Okay, a nice cash. Today wasn't the greatest run. Um, I played a little bit from the late evening on into the night, but still a nice score, a quick one. Quick session, just 10 minutes, but I'll upload this. I think it's still nice to see. Let me know what you think about this 9-9 hand. Would you ever call the river with a second nut set or what it was, third? I don't know. Probably it was third. There was king check on the f on the board, right? Yeah, let me know. Um, I have a strong opinion on it. But yeah, that was interesting. Thanks for watching. Good luck at the tables. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.